So three words I would use to describe my Lewis and Clark experience would be fun, diverse, and stimulating. Adventures, enriching, and rewarding. Three words that I would use to describe my Lewis and Clark experience were, uh, or that I thought of are fun, different, and privilege. I'd say life-changing. I'm just gonna hyphenate that. <laughs> life-changing, difficult, and fun. My favorite class in my major is probably American Indian History, and it's because the professor was really amazing. He cared so much about us and our learning, and also I had a lot of revelations in the class about studies of like history I had never heard before, and so I thought it was really important to know more about the country that I live in. I took a lot of courses with Marty Hart Landsberg, who, for the people who aren't econ majors, uh, he's very uh, out there. His ideas challenge you a lot, and it made me question everything that I knew uh, or everything that I believed about economics and the world. Software development was kind of like the first class uh, within my major where I feel like I got actual hands-on experience with work that I would do in the real world, real world. My favorite class outside of my major would have to be comparative politics with Leah Gilbert. It was a class that I didn't really know what it was gonna be about, but once I started taking it, I found the material really interesting. It really widened my view on the governments around the world and how, you know, it just opened my mind to how different countries work and uh, how lucky we are to have a stable democracy in the United States. Just being involved in computers was unexpected. Um, I came in thinking I was going to, you know, focus on physics and I'd be a very pencil to paper kind of guy for the rest of my life doing problems. And uh, I've never been super interested in technology. And then, you know, one class of computer science and I dove right into it. Um, my parents were surprised when they heard I was you know, changing to computer science. I went abroad junior year to Senegal, um, and it was an amazing experience. I'd never been to that part of the world before. One of the most amazing things, I think, of that experience was going to a small village um, outside of Dakar, which is the capital, and um, going back there with a Dinah Dodds grant to um, support the local economy in oyster farming. And so a group of us wrote a, wrote a grant um, and the trip sort of hosted this, this return to the, um, to the village to support the, the economy. Freshman year, I got a test back and it was not okay, my grade. And I came from a high school where it was really easy to get an A, I got this first test back. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna fail. I need to drop out, I need to transfer. And then I went to go meet with my professor and I was like, look, I did terrible. And then he was like, eh, don't worry about it. It's one test, like, look, we can do this, this, and this, and you're gonna be perfectly fine. And that moment of support as well as failure allowed me to learn so much. And I was like, it's okay to fail. It's not bad if you fail as long as you learn and then you just continuously improve. Um, my thesis is about explaining the causes of state failure and specifically looking at Somalia and what factors kind of contributed to the downfall of that state. My thesis class right now actually has really, um, it's been an aha moment of how how much I've learned. And so it's been really exciting to see that, wow, I really have learned a lot in these four years and I can really apply it to this project and I really do have the merit and credentials to do it. So that's been my main aha moment, is just realizing like, wow, I have learned a lot from this education. What I'm doing right now I was with uh, Dr. Binford and Dr. Zobel Throp, and it's working on purifying a single peptide from the venom of daddy long legs to so trying to find out if it has any potential use for medicine or say like an er or insecticide. And then if it does have something cool like that, we could patent it, potentially sell it to a company. Growing up in America, you, you get the American worldview. But my roommate for two years, Tondwa, who's from Swaziland, completely broke everything I'd ever thought to be true and completely transformed the way I thought about everything. And I think that's something that's so exciting about Lewis and Clark academically is that you get to have an American context, but you bring in all these incredibly smart and talented students to add to that and to like give you more substance for your education, things that you can't get from a textbook and things you can't get from even studying abroad, but that peer-to-peer -peer relationship is so unique and interesting, I think, and something that makes us 
such an exciting campus to be on. My ability to succeed so well at Lewis and Clark really has had to do with the people I've met in my classes and learning new ways to think of problems, learning new ways to solve problems, different ways of approaching problems. Uh, and it's without these perspectives, I wouldn't be able to have succeeded as well as I have. I think the most meaningful thing that I've done so far would be the class I'm taking now, thesis for international affairs, just because um, finally we're learning the process of producing knowledge instead of acquiring and then not regurgitating it, but qualifying how right or how wrong it is. Instead, we are in the process of trying to make a piece of work, trying to be the people who are now creating knowledge. It's as though the four years have all come together and now we can, we're like worthy enough to make actual knowledge that can be passed on to the rest of the world.